I'm such a big fan. Kate Flannery. <laughs> Your biggest fans, Kate. I just love you so right much. Right back at you, Sherry. My girl. God. It, well, I have to say, you were supposed to be on on the show last season, and I was looking forward to you coming on you and Jane Lynch. I know. But you had to cancel because you broke your neck. I broke two little bones in my neck. Two I bones know, right? in your neck, and you had to wear a neck brace for four months. For four I months. I couldn't drive. I just want to say, anybody that's going through an injury, it there has it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Okay. Because I am. Uh, neck bracelets. Okay, your so neck good. bracelets. It's gonna work out, good. you guys. Because when you came out and you were doing your moves, I said, Kate, be, you all right? So I you... have better insurance now. Okay, is that what it is? <laughs> but you go through stuff. I mean, you know, this is part of the deal. But so, yes. like, what happened that you broke two little I literally was helping my dad in his 90s so he wouldn't fall, and I'm the one that fell. And down you the fell. Steps. You fell. So yeah. you, like, literally were protecting your dad. I, it was like a cartoon fall. He oh. watched it, think, you know. He, <laughs> <laughs> From the safety of his chair, yeah. So he was just doing a uh, Okay, I'm not supposed to be laughing at no, that case. No, it's fine. It worked out okay, I promise. <laughs> yes. But so you and you and Jane had this cabaret you were supposed to do, and I'm sure you couldn't do some of the we had, some Yeah, of the we had to we had to cancel the tour, which we never do. So we're doing it again this year. So we're going to nine cities. Come see us. If you, go to Jane Lynch Official. Get, I mean, Christmas is a great time to see Yes, and together. we want we, we definitely want to right? see it. That, yes. it. Especially just to support you because you broke your neck the first time. <laughs> I'm breaking my neck. We of support for show business for you people. <laughs> so you don't break a leg, you break a neck. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard. So but like you did do one day because last January you had performed with Jane and you uh, you did it with a broken I neck. Did it with a broken neck. <laughs> How did you do? Look at this. Look at y'all. How did you do that? I couldn't drive, so I took three buses to get there. You took three buses. Actually, actually I took an Uber that day, but I, I was taking the bus sometimes, which was kind of like you know, I mean, it was sometimes people would recognize me, sometimes they wouldn't. Like, oh my gosh! Up? How did you when somebody would go, Kate, Kate? Did you have to like turn? It was like a. Uh, <laughs> took me about an hour. <laughs> This is what I was thinking about when they told me when they told me that you had broken your neck because I'm such a super fan of The Office and I watch you on The Office all the time. So, that injury reminds me of your character Meredith. It's Y'all remember so Meredith weird. got hit by a car so in one of the episodes. I, like, I, literally, the doctors. I remember getting. I was getting an MRI and I'm waiting and I had the neck thing on and some doctor walked by and he went, "You kidding me, right?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so. Perfect. It was the one thing that didn't happen to Meredith. Oh my gosh! Like you were always getting into it. I, yeah, I had my hair on fire. I had a bat um, in my hair and a bag over my head. And like oh your my physicality God. is a bar I had none. I do so much fun physical comedy. I mean, The Office was the greatest nine years of my life. Like the greatest. It literally. Oh Every. Every day was a joy, whether I talked or not. And I got to. I got to leave my restaurant job to do that show. So I am i was 40 when I got the office. So hang in there, everybody. Hang in don't there. Give up. I'm telling you, 56 with a talk show. If y'all don't know, hang right? in there. That's what it is. This is true. The ship has not sailed. It, Get on it. Get to the dock day. right now. Absolutely. But I'm telling you, we, it was the best job I ever had for a million reasons. Yes. My job was mostly not to laugh to ruin the show because everything was so funny. Did, that's what I was going to say. Did y'all have to, like, did you break character at all? Were you laughing? It was pretty good. I mean, just, I felt like I was in a drama. I don't know. I mean, my, my character was a drunk, so I had a lot going on. <laughs> so I literally had like fake booze in my desk. I, I actually had a lot in my desk. We actually had uh, uh, like work papers in our desks. Like yeah, I brought my taxes there. the first year. Because Wait, I was you like, did? I gotta, yeah, I gotta get stuff done. Okay, let me get this straight. You were on yeah. the show office playing Meredith. You were doing your taxes I was. while you were do, while you were doing yes. the show. Yes. Is that why you had the look on your face all the time? <laughs> Totally. I love now. I, you know, I love this show so much and binge watch it all the time. I keep hearing rumors of a reboot of The Office. Oh. Would you uh, come back? I am not the one slowing down the process. Of course, I would come back. It was the uh, best time of my life. It might be clickbait. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just hope they don't replace me with like Emma Stone or something. You not? You no. Know, you're irreplacible. I, you're you so could, sweet. You could not. You and also. Uh, 
in, it also will give me a chance to audition for it. I love that. <laughs> I want to be on that show so badly. But you were on the set. You found love on the I set did. of The Office. You guys. What happened? Which never happens. So my boyfriend is an NBC photographer. He's worked on a million shows on NBC, you know, in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Friends, The Golden Girls, yes. Seinfeld, he shot it all. So we met on the show, and um, we didn't start dating till the end of season two. So we were really like Jim and Pam, you guys. Really? Because it took a while. Uh -huh. And I could always find him in the fake men's room off the kitchen. Okay. I always knew where he was going to be. That's where he hung. So how'd y'all get in your, like, your little intimate kissing moments? Did you get any of those in? Well, if, if the trail is rocking, don't come and knock. <laughs> Search for Meredith. She was a drunk, but she was also kind of a floozy. So, so you was doing the research. Going this is I, I love this because y'all, I want what you have. You've had a companion for 18 years. That we don't live together, you guys. And you don't live we together. Don't. We don't. And you don't want marriage. No. Okay, how do I get what you have? <laughs> Well, you know, when you find love a little bit later, everyone's a little bit more grown up yes. and hopefully more honest. Yes. So neither one of us are like, no, it's okay that we don't live together. It's fine. You know, I mean, it's really okay. It really yeah. is. Sometimes it's great. Okay. I mean, sometimes it's really great. I'm just even loving the fact that you met somebody on the set. I ain't met nobody on no set I've been on. I ain't been on. <laughs> Go below the line. Go below the line. Don't do the actors. Do the, do the crew. The cr I mean, don't do the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should do the group. Hey, girl, there's a lot of nice I'm telling you, I'll be looking at him. Like you see when I, you see Marco, you see Marco step out and say hi to Kate. You see Marco, Marco's I, gorgeous. Right? Yeah, Marco, but you know, you Marco, every time I look at Marco, he's like, Yo, you getting lunch or something? What's going on? <laughs> it ain't like I ain't tried it, girl. It just ain't happening. That's what Well, it's tough to be the boss. It's, it's tough, tough to be, be the boss. boss. That's yeah, it. Yeah, That's yeah, the whole yeah. thing. Be the boss lady. Yeah. Okay. It's good though. It's good to be the yeah, boss. They don't want to get fired. That's right? the thing. <laughs> Awkward. So, you know, girl, okay, you are so close with your family, because they're gonna have me in human resources after these questions. <laughs> you are so close with your family, but I heard that your father has a big birthday he does, coming No, I up. have to tell you, Tom Flannery, my dad, he owned Aww. Flannery's Tavern uh, forever. Yes, I, I played an alcoholic on a show. I'm like an alcoholic Nepo baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So my dad is, he's 99, he's gonna be 102 Oh weeks. my goodness! How so blessed. I just, I'm just hoping he makes the Smucker's jar on the Today Show. I oh, that's put in the right. form and they got the contest on the Today Show yes. where you could have them on the Smucker's jar. Yes. So yes. you've applied. I have applied. Although like my dad is not a showbiz guy. Like he's more of a social worker than a businessman. Like he cares about people. He doesn't care about showbiz, you know. What I say, like, Dad, I did a show. He's like, Yeah, your sister saved a little girl from choking on a button. <laughs> like literally, I'm like, you know, I, 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 a little reality check, which is important, yes. as we know. Okay, well, yeah, I'm... So he's the best. He's the best. Okay, well, so we know enough. today's show, because the, they're celebrating milestones, so we want your dad on the cup, so, on, yes. on that Smucker's Jar. Yeah. But just in case your daddy doesn't make it on the Today Show Smucker's Jar, we got something for your daddy for his birthday. We put him <gasps> on oh, the... You're <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And it's a big, heavy one. Tom Flannery, oh 100 years old. He will eat this. <laughs> he will eat this. <laughs> we have a corn muffin and a... Sherry, I'm, yes. gonna, I'm you're gonna kill me. I'm, I'm, cr I'm gonna cry. This well, is that's so... what we want to do for your dad, 100 years old. He's, He's the best. He's absolutely. The best. I'm the luckiest. You tell him that's with love from the Sherry Show. That is our Thank love. So this and is we, awesome. Kate, I, yeah, I'm so this glad This is better than came. a cigar. He smokes cigars, too, but he's going to eat this. No, he's going to love this jelly. He's going to love this jelly. I, I want to say thank you so much for coming by. You got to come back again. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, for more info on a swinging little Christmas cabaret tour with Jane Lynch and Kate Flannery, go to SherryShowTV.com. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time.